Hello guys, Brad on YouTube, and I uh, just got some stuff in the mail today. I actually got another bottle of cologne, but uh, the reason I'm doing this video is that I got a little package from Dan, my Mickers. He sent me uh, two things. As promised, he sent me the uh, Midnight in Paris decant from Van Cleef and Arpels. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. And also... The infamous mystery decant that he's been sending out to some of the other reviewers, uh, Snook and uh, Joe Cannoli, I believe, also got a mystery decant so far, to the best of my knowledge. And uh, Dan said he wanted me to do a first impression, so I think I'll go ahead and do a first impression of this. And maybe I'll do a first impression of Midnight in Paris as well. Um, my skin's a little bit contaminated because I have been testing some stuff out earlier today, so... Got to find some clean skin here. So let's start with the mystery decant. Pretty clean, I think. Let that dry a little bit. Hmm. I'm not sure what to make of this one. I'm guessing it's the same stuff that everybody else has been getting. Um... You know, like other people are, are saying, it is kind of with like an old school type smell, and um, I don't find it repulsive. Like I think Snook was really repulsed by it. Um, I get a little bit of sweetness there. I'm not sure what else is there, but basically, to me, it just smells kind of like sweet leather. Um, um, I think it actually smells better than some of the other leather type fragrances that I've smelled before, like um, Azara Pour Homme, which had a lot of spiciness to it. Uh, this, uh, pretty much what I'm getting, I think it's just kind of like sweet leather. I'm not really sure. Like I said, it's really hard to review something when you haven't really uh, studied the notes or know what the breakdown is, but. Yeah, it's okay. Um, not something I would buy, I don't think. Um, better than some of the old school type fragrances I've smelled. I don't know. There's probably other stuff in there. I don't know if there's a floral in there or not. That'd be interesting to find out what that is and see how accurate I was. I'm going to say something kind of sweet. Almost like, uh, I don't know, maybe a vanilla note. Maybe a leather note, and I don't know, maybe even a floral note. Um, so, yeah, first impression of that, okay. About a 6 out of 10. Okay, let's see about the Midnight in Paris. They say this one smells a little bit like Bulgari Black, I think. Hmm. Actually, right off the bat, yeah, I do kind of get a Bulgari Black vibe to this one. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of getting like a, a very deep vanilla smell. I believe it's leather more so than uh, than rubber. But yeah, I think this one still has almost a bit of that rubbery type vibe to it, like Bulgari Black. I think this one's maybe a little less harsh than Bulgari Black. So I can see why this one might be preferred to Bulgari Black. A little bit easier to wear. But uh, yeah, I haven't uh, smelled the progression, but... Yeah, I think the opening's pretty nice on Midnight in Paris. It may be a uh, first impression, maybe even a better blind buy than uh, Bulgari Black. So, yeah, so yeah, that's nice. It's about an 8 out of 10. If you're looking for uh, this kind of like a, I would say kind of like a, a leathery vanilla smell. Similar to Bulgari Black, maybe not quite as gooey smelling, but still nice. Um maybe a little bit better. I think a lot of the other reviewers said they liked that one better too, and I'm going to go with that. Yeah, a better alternative to Bulgari Black is the Midnight in Paris. So, uh, let's see what this one still smells like. Yeah, yeah it's, it's different, all right. I don't know. It'd be interesting if Dan uh, tells us what that is, and I can see uh, what to make of that one. But, uh, yeah, that one's just kind of a little bit old school, Sounds smells a little bit dated. 
doesn't smell as disgusting as, as some of those older fragrances do, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd want to wear that to work or not. So uh, that's pretty much it for my impression video. Thanks, Dan, for the samples, and I'll talk to you guys later.